Oh, hi, this is Ashio. Welcome back to Judgment. We just got a phone call. Hello. You find Ayabe yet? Negative. But I did track down someone who had a run-in with Hamura. Yeah? Is it good news? His alibi might be more airtight than we thought. You're kidding me. Just around midnight on the day of the crime, this guy Seiya got hit by Hamura, then saw him go to the sauna. It was apparently right by Kyushu number one star. If they have a security camera, it would have caught everything. I'm heading to check it out now. Hold up. Isn't that near KJR? Those Kyore guys won't be happy to see you. If I was worried about getting seen, I'd never leave the office. <laughs> Fair enough. Later. Okay, so yeah, we just spoke to a witness, and he's a fairly credible witness as well, who will hopefully get our guy the all clear, because he's been accused of murder, so we need to go and check this place out, see if it's got a security camera, and that would really make it rock solid in what we want to do. So, okay, entering this area, and this is where Sayo got hit. A security camera would have caught something, so we need to look See if there's a security camera anywhere around this area. Hmm. You really wouldn't think it'd be that difficult to find. But... Oh, okay. Uh -huh. There we go. Got it. There is a camera. Let's hope that hammer is on there. Okay. So, can we ask the people to see their footage, please? Yeah, that's the one. Hey, you! Oh. I know you, boy. Yeah, you know me. Arase. I beat you up the other day. What a coincidence. Oh, fuck. Clear your schedule, because I'm going to take my time with you. I'd rather you Boys, didn't. Ah, fuck. Get this fucker back to the office. <laughs> what? No. I really don't have time for this. You talk. Kaito, stay the fuck out of this. Where are you? This guy wants to fight. Fuck. <laughs> that dynamic entry. Come on. That was pretty sweet, man. Hey, you want to try helping out? Sure thing. All right, we got a big fight. This you guy. Ah, fuck! This guy was super tough on his own. We gotta fight the whole squad at once. All right. Oh, oh no! Sword. That shit real. You had a wooden one before. A real sword. You could fucking not do that. Is it? Ah, fuck. This is, ow, ow, ow. Okay. Can I do a power-up thing? No. No power-ups just yet. Okay, let let that guy... I'll wipe out the small guys. He can focus on the big one. I don't mind. Okay. Ow. That's it. Just just throw him. Just throw him. Don't, don't get up. <laughs> I want to use a weapon. Is there like... Yeah, g give me the bin. I knocked over the bin. I wanted to use it. Okay, is that someone down? Good, finally. Street fight. No. Ow! Get up, get up, get up, get up! That's it. Good kick. That's it. Throw all these guys. Let's thin these numbers out. Dude, no, get up! No, no, dodge. Get up, get up, get up! Ow. Okay, he down. Okay, not good. Cool. So is that it? Yeah, there's definitely less people now. That's fine. Now we can team this guy. Good. Right, let's use our power up. That's it. That's it. Change styles. That's it. Oh shit! Right in the spine! <laughs> that team up skill. That was nice. Okay. Throwing is good. That does a good hit. And it gives us some space. Ow, I was just going to use that bike. Oh shit. Dodge, dodge. 
Ah, oh, okay. Looks like we're halfway through. He's going to level up some. Dodge it. Don't get hit by that sword. That'd be fucked up. Not good. Triangle. <laughs> Alright, good, good, good. This guy has powered himself up. Uh oh, back up, back up, back up. No. I can't see what is going on. I've taken I've taken like permanent damage. Okay, just just hit the guy. Dude, help me. Kaito, help me. Ow, ow. Get up. Is there like a weapon I could use? Yes. This'll do. This'll do. No. No. Okay. I need to Is there like a health pickup or something? Okay, that's a couple of cheap hits. I like that. Grab this. No, don't. I've got to get better at my blocking, because this blocking is not working out. I'm almost dead. Kaito is doesn't look very good either. Back up. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. No way. I got sort of close, but not really. Alright, we'll go again. We'll go again. Alright, this is about where we got to before, where I got completely fucked up. Oh shit, shit. No, not good. This guy just ran me through. <laughs> Kaito, help me. So yeah, I definitely need to get better at dodging or something. Okay, good. Right, let's do... Can I do the special, please? There we go. Sweep him. Because this guy had two health bars and he's now on his second. We have to sort this out. I'm halfway through my health and he's over halfway, so that's encouraging. It's okay. So if I use my lock on, I should be able to... That's it. Use that as well. There we go. I should be able to dodge his attacks. That's it. Good. Use the lock on. No, no. Good. No, no. That's it. Dodging. Perfect. No. Ah, fuck. <laughs> but it's the right idea. That's it. Come on, Kaito. Help me out. Let's spread the damage out between us. Don't leave it all to me. But this is nice. Nice series of attacks. Good. No. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Almost there. Almost there. Got it. That was rough. That was rough. But we cleared it. Like we're trying to help the situation. Why is this guy getting mixed up? He blames this guy that we're defending for the murder, but it Please wasn't him. Please tell me you found something. You did, right? I think I did. Check out that camera. We're in the clear if the thing puts Hamra here at midnight. And if it doesn't, let's let's try and stay optimistic. Well, camera, you got good news for us or what? Well, at least it recorded the fight we just had. There is that. This video shows everything you need to see. My client, Hamura-san, drunkenly attacked this passerby on the night of the murder. Then, after the altercation, that same passerby watched Hamura-san walk into Sana Goten. Nobody came out of the building after that, until the train started in the morning. Meaning the defendant was accounted for during the hours in question. The defense asserts that this video establishes a clear alibi, which can only be seen as proof of Hamura-san's innocence. To that end, I have a question for the prosecution. Did you have any prior knowledge of this video before the trial began? I assure you that we reviewed all the relevant footage from the sauna. And yet the defendant was nowhere to be found, counsel. At least so I was told. Meaning, you never actually went to examine the site personally then. Would you say that's correct? Yes. My associates took care of that. Nonetheless, 
The defense's video is far too blurry to clearly identify either participant. There's no way to tell whether the man in the footage was the defendant or just a random pedestrian. <laughs> Thank you very much. In that case, the defense would like to call a witness to the stand. Yeah, we're at trial. This is the guy who got hit and he has a dental receipt because he lost a filling when he got knocked out. So this is our ace in the hole. Hopefully this will help. This is weird though. Something's definitely wrong. What is going on with this guy? Sayasan, do you claim you're the person in this video? That someone assaulted you that night. Is that accurate? Yes. It is. Now tell us, this person who assaulted you, are they here in the courtroom? <laughs> hmm? Witness? Is there a problem? I, um... Hmm? I must have... been mistaken. I am the one getting hit in the video. But as to who the other guy was... I can't say. What is this? What is this? Excuse me, Your Honor. Uh, recess, if you don't mind. This guy's getting a proper stare down from the guy we're trying to defend, but is he the one putting the squeeze on him to make him not talk? What is this? What happened in there? I... I, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. But why? You were all ready to go this morning. I... got a phone call earlier. Go on. It said it was from my sister, but there was a strange man on the line. He said his name was... Marase. Told me you'd know him, Yagami-san. Marase? And he told you not to testify? Yes. He said if I did... If I did, I'd never see my sister again. Got it. What are you doing, Yagami? Calling the police? Kaito-san, it's me. Those KJ art guys took Seiya's sister. I'm heading over there now. Could use a hand. The hell are you doing? We're in the middle of a trial here. A trial doesn't mean shit if you can't protect your witness. Um. <sighs> Buy me as much time as you can. I'll get Seiya's sister back. I'm the one who dragged you into this. I'll be the one to drag you out. Promise. By time, he says. He knows this is a court, right? The Curie have says sister KJ Ah, I need to hurry. Okay. Does that mean are we on a time limit? I don't know, but we're gonna run. But I don't understand why they've kidnapped his sister. You would have thought that he'd want the right person to take the fall for it, not just the person he kinda doesn't like. Actually, I'm damaged as fuck. I should probably get some food. Yeah. Quick snack, please. Hello. Yo, do you wanna learn about our music fair today? No, not not right now. I wanna have a snack. Okay, what's all, what's going on? So, every 700 yen purchase you make, you earn 1 point. Once you get 10 points total, we present you with a shiny new record. Okay, we do have a record player back at the office. On top of that, each branch carries a different record, so be sure to check us out all over Kamurocho. Now let's get the music fair pop in. Okay, so we should buy something that's more than 700 yen. But I need to restore my health as well. I don't know, about one of those, and one of these, that should do, shouldn't it? 
That should get us a token. That should help, right? Thanks for stopping by. That's it. Good. Currently you have one point total. Gather ten points and we get a record. No problem. But I want I want to eat that snack right now. Items. Uh, yeah. Oh, my health is maximum. My mistake. Maybe it replenished when the new cutscene started. Alright, let's keep running. It's round the block. Hmm. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Why does someone want to fight now? Not Now is not a good time. Seriously, is it just this one guy? I mean, it is just one guy. So let's just make quick work of him. Good. And now we can move on. I mean, why would you pick a fight with him just like that? Okay, good. Excuse me. We need to rescue this guy's sister. Oh. Hello? Yo, it's Kaito. I'm here. Where are you? I'm right around the corner. The place looks kind of deserted. Lines down and everything. Are we sure this is where they got her? They're from Kansai, remember? They can't have that many hideouts. Plus... Plus what? I bet there's a reason all the blinds are down. If anything, that makes it more suspicious. I guess you've got a point. Anyways, I'll be up on the roof again. See you soon. Okay, so what, well, he's up on this roof? So we did a stakeout of this place a little while ago. And yeah, Kaito was on this roof with the drone. And we was able to check the place out before we went inside. So we, there he is. Tell me what to do. What is going on now? Still can't get eyes on what's in there. Got any bright ideas? Well, we can't just barge in. Who knows how many of them are in there? No way I'm getting away with a disguise now, either. Then... I guess we gotta sneak in. That's the only way. <laughs> I had a feeling. I've got a plan. Yeah? Lay it on me. First, I'll make a big scene out front. Then when they're distracted, you sneak in and get the girl. That's your big plan? Pretty good, huh? Uh, sure. How are you gonna do it? You'll see soon enough. Just remember, both our asses are on the line here. I won't forget. So, the girl's in there, yeah? Let's go bring her home. Right. I'll go look for a way in. Let you know when I find one. Okay. So we need to somehow break into this place without getting caught. I'm not really down with a stealth. Wow, this guy is... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's not about stealth. Hey! Where's that asshole Morase? Name's Kaito, ex Matsugane. Bring him out, or I'll burn this shit down! Oh yeah, go on! I dare you! Just stay right there, punk! Wow, that is a proper call out. Gota, <laughs> this is your chance. This is how you do a call out. Don't die, okay? Oh shit. You really stuck around? You should have bailed when you had the chance. You're pretty fucked now. Dumbass! <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I said I wanted Morase! You fucking scrubs ain't worth my time. Get Morase! Wow, there's a lot of bluff and bluster going on. <laughs> this guy wants to proper fight. So yeah, let's not deal with that right now. Have we got to pick this lock again? Oh man. Okay, let's so that's there. it. One like that. Oh, nice. there we go. I'm getting better at these. That's it. it. Easy. So now I have to somehow stealth. Is do I really want to go right at the front door? I don't think I do. Oh, I have no choice. Okay, this door won't open. So I do have to go in here. Right on the ground floor. It's a long way to go. It's locked, but I should be able to open it with a simple thumb turn bypass. This calls for a wire, which I'm out of at the moment. What the fuck's a wire? No, how, how do I get a wire? Oh, on the floor, on the floor. What's that? What is this? Okay, we have a wire. So how does this work? 
Yeah, okay. Work those thumbs. Using the thumb turn bypass is yet another way to open the locked door. Slip a thin wire through the door gap and turn the knob on the other side to unlock it. If you don't have a thin wire, you won't be able to do it. Use left and right and follow the icon within the red frame as shown in the figure. When you match L and R on the icon, the icon will automatically start moving. Okay. I guess it will make sense the more I do it. This calls for a wire. I've got one left. Please don't snap. Okay. Sure, let's see how this works. Okay, this way. Why am I bad? Oh, okay. So you kinda gotta hook it and then we're putting it down. Let's stick with the yellow. Stick with the Almost yellow. There. there we go. And now with the riot. That's it. Follow it. Follow it. Stay within the triangle. That'll do it. There we go. Now the wire broke though. I won't be able to use this one anymore. But we're in, that's all that matters. So we need to sneaky sneak. Like running. Running sneaky sneak. Let's go upstairs. So Oh what? Who are you? Oh my mistake. Lots of weapons though. I mean Ah shit. Okay, we got caught pretty damn quick by the first guy going. Okay. And we got a medical kit, which is pretty helpful. Can we like knock this guy over? That's it. Spin him. Give me the sledgehammer. Oh, shit. One hit from this will kill someone. <laughs> oh, no. That's a bad time to be hit by a sledgehammer. This guy's pretty strong, actually. Okay. Just toss him. It's fine. What is this? Grab it. Nunchucks. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> Not very good with a nunchuck. Ow. Get up. Get up. Give me them nunchucks again. No. He's almost down. What is the problem? Uh, just just throw it. <laughs> just throw it. Right in the face. Oh. That should have been a bit smoother. But never yeah. mind. Where's the girl you took? I don't know nothing, honest. I'm new here. They don't tell me shit. Huh? Well, then you're useless to me. No way to go but up. This is on the assumption that whoever made the phone call was correct. And they're not simply lying and she's somewhere else. So, upstairs. Yeah, this will do. Good, 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 good. I like how all these criminal hideouts have kind of left all their doors unlocked. That's I can appreciate that. That's pretty good. I'm in here now. I say that. Okay, let's pick another lock. Oh, nice. That's it. Good. Stupid nope. thing. No. You gotta be so, Almost so there. careful. Oh, it's like here. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Anyone home? Uh, hello? Oh shit! <laughs> You're done for, bitch. Excuse me? Oh, they've all got swords! How come I ain't got shit? Okay. This, this rumble. Uh oh. This guy's dropped a... No, no. Can I have the baseball bat, please? That's it. Cannot see. Camera, turn around. That's it. Ooh, it's the beat. I hit the wrong guy though. I wanted to hit the big guy. Ah, shit. Okay, focus. Focus on the little guys. I can grab their weapons. Dude, I'm getting fucked up. There's some blocking. There's some blocking. That's it. That's it. Good, good, good. Throw him. Don't get up. That's it. Knock him out. Knock him out. No. I don't like how he... No. I don't like his stance. It bothers me. I right, go over here. It's still this guy. Okay. Good. Dude, fuck off. No. No. No, 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 no. No. Camera. Camera, please. Help a brother out. Don't 
don't do it like this. This guy is stuck on the wall, but I've got to get rid of him. Because he's just going to give me trouble. Is he gone? Is, yes, he's gone. Fine. No. Can can I quickly... Don't, don't mind me in the middle of the fight. Can we quickly have a quick snack? You don't mind, do you? I mean, I'll have one of these as well. That's it. Munchy. Good. Ow, 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 ow. That probably saved my life. Dude, dude. Just go down there. Change fight style. This is the one I want. That's it. Okay, now I can, like, dodge attacks and stuff. That's actually better. Good. Good. No, no. That's it. Now I'm laying hits. Look at them blood splatter when I take them hits. Shit. This guy is such a problem. There we go. Ow. Ow. Why is he so tough? Good. And the sword broke just like that. Swords don't break like that. Especially not proper katana. Oh, wow. She might be on this floor. She might be. But I am fucked. Look at my health. Uh, That heals? Hmm. I mean... What the hell is a hug bomb? Experience a hug in liquid form. I don't know. It's just... Okay, health is good, and I've still got a medical kit in hand. That's fine. So... In here... Hello? Oh, I've got... A, that's it. Pick another lock. There's four this time. Almost okay, there. one. Nice. Two. Oh, so careful. Almost Three. Oh. Got that's it. it. Just got to take a breath. Take it steady. Even hands. Who are these people? Hello. Ah, shit. Okay, I'll take that. I'll pick this up as well. Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Good. Wipe him out. Wipe him out. Nice. That was so much easier than the last fight. <laughs> but that wasn't the one I wanted. But there was some pickups, so it wasn't completely wasted. But this was... Excuse me, gents. That, that was not the right way. Okay, so... Oh, you. Oh, shit! Now, tell me what I want to know, or else. Where's Marase? Where's the girl? How many members are there? Who cares about that? Where's the girl? Where's the girl? She's up in the reception room. Got it. Appreciate the honesty. Okay, so what about... Marase? Or what's the code for the door? Yeah, what about the code? What's the code for the reception room? <laughs> like I tell you. I don't have time for your games. Understand? Now I'm gonna ask you again. What's the code to the reception room? One, three... Seven zero. I'll try and remember. One oh, three seven zero. Thanks. Okay, we have a code. One three seven zero. Don't don't attack me, please. Is it in here? Oh, okay. I can just pick the lock. The guy's just got to let me, isn't he? Okay. Do it. Cool. Is this? Is this right? I think it's right. Let's go in. Oh, picking all these locks as well. Uh, nice. One, Almost two, nice. three, four. Perfect. Yeah, I'm definitely gotten used to those. Is it this door? Okay, it's the reception room. One, three, seven, zero. One, three, seven, zero. Got it. So she's here then. Yeah, there she is. Wow, four guys to guard her. You're Seiya's sister, right? Don't worry, you're safe now. 
Yagami! When the hell did you get here? Let the girl go. Right now. What do you mean, let her go? The girl can leave whenever she wants. We don't have her tied up or nothing. I get it. It's all fine if you aren't keeping her captive, right? Just have to make her stay here until the trial's over. You really thought this one through. But that's not gonna work. Huh? Confinement is a crime whether or not your captive is tied up, idiots. Shut your trap! You know, false imprisonment will get you between three months and seven years. Maybe even longer if you hurt the victim. Guess you'll have to take a little dip in an acid bath then. No body, no crime. Wow. <laughs> Intimidation too? Tack on another year. You piece of... Come on! Let's make sure this asshole never talks again! Okay, so this is the Kyoto clan. We're gonna fight a whole bunch of dudes. Alright, let's go into brawl mode. That's it. Throw him. Good. Grab something. Where's the big guy? That's the guy I want to hurt. This guy's picking up a sofa. Can you not? Get up. Get up, dude. Isobe. No, Isobe is a problem. I'm getting killed. Don't. I'm, no, dude. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. Grab, grab the dude. There we go. Let's get a couple of hits in at least. That's it. Stomping jump kicks. That is good. He's not getting up either. Oh uh, yeah. The, ow. Don't don't throw sofas at me, please. Okay, how are we doing? We're doing okay now. Get up, get up, get up. This room has been emptied out. Because we've destroyed everything. Dude, fuck off. I want to take care of this guy. No, dude. Don't. Okay, now I can focus on this, this guy. And now I can power up. And now I can do some work. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, can I grab him? Can I grab the guy? That's it. That's it. Mess him up. My health isn't great, must be said. That was a jumping punch. <laughs> I do have health on me. If I need to replenish. Okay, good. Good. All these guys have been knocked out. It's just one on one now. That's it. Keep him trapped in there. I don't mind. This is cheap as hell. I'm happy to do this. All day. All day. No, he's out of the corner. No good. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Go for a grab. That's it. I shouldn't have let him get up. I really shouldn't have let him get up. Ow. No. My mistake. But, yeah. We cleared these guys out. We've rescued the sister. And hopefully that means that he will now testify. And that will help. These guys are out cold. Come on. Not so fast, Yagami. Dude, what is your problem? Marasi-san. Hasn't this gone on long enough? You're only gonna make things worse for yourself. Hamura has an alibi. Someone else clearly killed Kume. There's no reason for you to keep Seiya from testifying. But if Hamura didn't murder Kume, who did? I'm not sure, but... Hamura might have an idea. He must have been working with the real murderer. What? That's right. Several facts point to Hamura's involvement. The night of the crime, Kume went into Amor and just disappeared, right? He didn't contact you. Nobody saw him. He didn't even show up on any security footage. The way I see it, Kume never left Amor. In other words, Hamra must have handed him over to the real murderer. While Hamra was at the sauna making an alibi for himself, someone else was murdering Kume and gouging his eyes out. It almost makes sense. If Hamra ends up behind bars, I'll never be able to prove that theory. So what? You want to let Hamra walk? Better that than threaten a girl to stop someone from testifying. Besides, I thought you were above shit like this. <laughs> All right, just get out of here. You got guts for a detective. Huh. 
thanks. The rest is up to Shintani. But we did our piece. We we rescued the girl. Hopefully the guy's Amuro gonna testify. Amuro-san is the now. one punching me in this video. The same man standing here today. I remember now. There's no doubt in my mind. So, you retract your earlier statement? Yes. My apologies. Your Honor, clearly this witness has no credibility. How does the defense respond? I admit, the witness was shaken up before. But I believe that's a perfectly understandable response. This is his first time in court, after all. I have no doubts regarding his credibility. Also, if you confronted the guy who punched you, you'd be a little bit shaken as well. Yo, this what's up? This Stardust establishment. It's a host club, yes? How long have you been employed there? About two years. For that short a time frame, you seem to have an awful lot of trouble with your customers. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean. Several of them have approached you in hopes of marriage, have they not? They come spending huge sums of cash, so you act like you're ready to seal the deal. You say whatever it takes to make them happy in the moment, but your story changes once things start to get real. Five women have filed reports with the Consumer Affairs Bureau, and those are just the ones who have stepped forward. Can we really trust the words of such a manipulative man? With these character traits in mind, I sincerely doubt the credibility of the witness's testimony. And if the witness is indeed lying, the defendant's alibi is invalid. That is all. How does the defense respond? I'd like to continue on the topic of credibility. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Prosecutor? Go ahead. First, allow me to fast forward the security footage to just a few days after the crime. Oddly enough, we'll be looking at the exact day the prosecution filed their suit. Mm hmm. Oh, is that him? Or are you gonna get stitched up? Isn't that you, Prosecutor? Uh, yes. And in this footage, you're reenacting the altercation that took place between the defendant and our witness, yes? What? No. Well, that's strange. You stated earlier that you hadn't seen any footage from the camera near the sauna. But then, how would you be able to reenact things exactly as they went down? You also claimed you did not inspect the area yourself. But it seems that wasn't the truth. Why are you hiding the truth from us, Prosecutor? You're wrong! As you can see, the original footage isn't exactly clear. I would understand if you had denied that the defendant was the man who punched our witness. But instead, you claimed you hadn't seen the footage at all. If I had a guess, when you first saw the footage, you realized Hamra might have been the other man. At the very least, you couldn't rule out the possibility. So you lied, I would say. <laughs> that, that's not true. Can we be sure that what you say is credible? There we go. You already lied outright in a court of law. There we go. That's what we're talking about. And unfortunately for you, there's only one person who thinks the defendant is guilty. And that's you, prosecutor. Yeah, that was good. The night Kume got murdered. That was good. Hummer was holed up in Sauna Go 10 till morning. The footage from the security camera, Hamra's alibi, Seiya's testimony, it all lined up. With a story that airtight, there's no chance he could have killed Kume. We find the defendant, Kyohei Hamura, innocent. I will now clarify the reasoning behind this decision. Defendant, please be seated. The judge was right. Hamura definitely didn't kill Kume. 
But he had to have been involved. Meanwhile, the real killer is still out there, hiding in the shadows of Kamurocho. Murdering Yakuza, gouging their eyes out, retreating into his den. So, I've given him a name, the Mole. A lawyer's job is done once he proves the defendant innocent. But me, I'm not a lawyer, not anymore. Meaning my search for the truth only ends when I say it does. My office might be small, but that doesn't mean I don't have a reputation to uphold. In other words, I'll do whatever it takes to bring Hamura and the Mole down. Yagami-san, nice seeing you. Gorgeous day. Who are you? How's the detective business been treating you lately? Yeah, I knew you'd show up here, Hattori. Okay. Listen, I'm not in the mood for your shit today. Ah, but it's my journalistic duty to hear what you have to say. It's not personal, just trying to do my job, okay? Okay, so this is called Hattori, and already I don't like him. <laughs> well, I've already seen what your so-called job produces. Fraudulent lawyer lets a murderer walk. Helpless girl suffers the consequences. <laughs> you and I both know. You're the only reason the girl died. You just had to go and set that killer free, didn't you? And the good people who raised her still suffer for it. You can't be coming back now. What would her poor family have to say to that, huh, Yagami-san? No need to worry about that. If you say so. <sighs> See you around then. Okay, so we have finished chapter one, so we're going to start chapter two in the next video. This is Usho signing off, and hopefully I will see you next time.